What's up everyone, Jack from Rapgrow, and today I'm talking about this. This is the Tello EDU, and it's a slightly different take on one of my favorite drones, the original Rise Tello. Now, I love the Tello. In fact, I think it is probably the best beginner drone you can get. It's about 100 bucks, and it has a lot of really awesome features. The Tello EDU packs a lot of those same features, actually all of them. It's pretty much the same drone, plus a handful of other things that make it really nice and a good option if you're looking to get into coding or teaching uh, or learning how to fly. Lots of different reasons you might want this Tello EDU. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this Tello EDU and how it compares to the original guy. Okay, so first let's talk about why the Tello itself is a fantastic drone. For starters, it's $99, right? That's a really good price. Now the Tello EDU is about 129 bucks and you do get some different things, uh, but what makes this awesome is the absolute stability that this thing has. I mean, it's rock solid in the air, almost like it has GPS, right? These sensors on the bottom do a really nice job of keeping it in one place. So that is really a bonus. Now it also has a 13 minute flight time now keep in mind that's without your prop guards and on a windless day or maybe if you're flying inside so you can expect to get uh, eight or nine minutes probably in most situations camera on this thing is actually really good it is a 720p camera and it has digital stabilization that's right it will stabilize your image electronically so it's kind of like having a gimbal on board right it's not quite like a gimbal it's not nearly as nice and it's not you're not going to take this to a real estate photo shoot but it does a nice job of getting some good clean uh, video as well as snapping good solid pictures i also have some really cool flight modes circle orbit uh, there's even like a little bit of a droney mode they're all really pretty darn good for a non-gps drone really you're not going to find anything that does what this does for the price so one thing you'll notice about the camera is, well, it's recording on board my phone. Uh, there's no SD card. So uh, as the drone gets further away from my camera, I start to get a little bit of breakup. Now you can, you can kind of increase the range and the quality of the pictures with a range extender. We've done that video. Another people, thing people ask is, does it do flips? Yeah, whether you're using the original Tello or the Tello EDU, it'll flip with a push of a button. Now there are a few drawbacks. I really hate setting this thing up. You know, you get it on the phone, you turn on the Wi-Fi. I mean, it overheats, right? It overheats fairly easily. So if you got a fan or you're doing it outside on a windy day, you're in better shape. Uh, but kind of getting it set up, and if it takes you a while to to find the network on your phone, if you're doing things, it'll overheat. You got to unplug the battery and just got to wait for it to take off. The other thing I'm not a super fan of are the brush motors. Now they are pretty powerful and actually fairly efficient for brush motors. Uh, but brush motors over time will wear out, um, and they're just not as efficient as brushless. Now they're more cost efficient, which is what helps keep this drone under one. $100. One more thing that I would absolutely recommend whether you go regular Tello or Tello EDU is to pick up the game server remote. Generally speaking, I don't like to fly with my phone as an app. Actually, the Tello is probably the best one there is. It is actually pretty darn good, but this gamepad style remote does a really nice job, connects Bluetooth, and the interface is flawless. I highly recommend flying with one of these if you're flying a Tello. Now let's talk about what the Tello EDU is and how it's different from the original Tello. The first thing is EDU, meaning education. You can program this in multiple languages. The original Tello, and we've done a video on how to program it using Scratch and Dronebox. Check out that video right there or in the video description below. But this one, you can also code in Swift and Python. So that's really cool. Those are two other languages a lot of people use and learn how to program with. You can do that with this. So there is a Tello EDU app, and it's a very basic app. It takes away the camera features and the intelligent flight modes, and it's just kind of a basic way to fly. It gives you some basic parameters, which you know may or may not be helpful. And then there's this kind of cartoony interface where you can kind of learn how to code without actually having to code the Tello. So you 
code this kind of little imaginary Tello that you see on the screen and you kind of drag and drop and you learn how that works. It's very similar to Scratch or to Drone Blocks. Um, and like I said, we have a video on how to do that. So uh, go ahead and check the description below if you really want to learn how to do some coding. But uh, yeah, so you have this kind of fake coding app, which is really kind of kind of a neat tool. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and actually code the Tello or the Tello EDU using the Tello EDU app. And then it'll fly and do the uh, programming that you've asked it to do. So kind of a neat little option. Uh, I did find this app to be more glitchy than the standard Tello app, but hey. The other thing that you can do with the EDUs is you can fly multiple programmed at once. You can do drone swarms. So you can program a whole bunch of them, do some cool stuff. That's really cool. And the other thing is they come with four of these reversible mission pads, where if you're using the new SDK 2.0, you can have it fly to one of these pads and have it recognize it with a downward camera and program it to do whatever you think it needs to do when it gets to one of these. So we'll test all these features out. So no, this is not a full review of the Tello EDU. I just wanted to kind of tell you what some of those differences between it and the original Tello are. Either way, they're both fantastic drones. And if you're looking for something for about $100, that's what you want. And even a lot of the $200 drones, in my opinion, fall short of what this Tello can do. In terms of bang for your buck, the Tello or the Tello EDU might just be the best drone out there. I'm a really big fan of the Tello and the Tello EDU. We're going to get more into coding and programming and drone swarms and mission pads in a later video, so make sure you subscribe and check us out later. Hey, thanks for watching. Good luck and happy flying.